Okie doke. Today we are looking at how to create a line flat using fractions. And before we do, I want to remind you all of the things that we know already, like creating models using pictures of fractions. We can decompose fractions using unit fractions. And a unit fraction always has the numerator of? One. 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 Good. We can write expressions using unit fractions and other combinations. Like 3 eighths would be 1 eighth plus 1. one. 1 eighth plus 1 eighth. Or we can say 1 eighth plus 2 eighths equals 3 eighths. We know how to add and subtract fractions with like denominators like 5 tenths minus 2 tenths equals 3 tenths. Very good. We can rename mixed numbers as improper fractions. We can borrow and rename mixed numbers when subtracting. We know how to find multiples of fractions like 2 thirds, 4 thirds, 6 thirds, 8 thirds, 10 thirds, 12 thirds, 14 thirds, and we count by that numerator. So if I said 5 eighths, then we would have 10 eighths, then 15 eighths, 20 eighths, 25 eighths, 25 eighths, good. Multiplying fractions and mixed numbers with whole numbers. Today we're going to apply all of that into this word problem. And I'm going to read it aloud and then we're going to solve. Judy conducted an experiment. She put a total of two and one eighth cups of water into an empty container. Then Judy recorded the amount of water that evaporated from the container each day for four days. The table below shows the amount of water that evaporated from the container on each of the four days. Monday was one eighth cup. Tuesday was one eighth cup, Wednesday was two eighths of a cup, and Thursday was five eighths of a cup. We're going to turn that table into a line plot. Now line plots always start at zero, and with fractions they end in one. Now I'm looking at my table and noticing that my denominator for each fraction is eight which means I need to split my line plot into eight, eight, eight pieces. And to do that, I'm going to cut it in half first. Now I have two pieces. I'm going to cut it in half again. Now I have four. I'm going to cut it in half one more time so I can have eight. And then we'll check. Half of each one. So I should have one eighth, two eighths, Three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, and eight eighths. Now I know I'm correct because eight eighths means the same as one, one eighth. eighth. As one whole. One oh, whole. One whole. Sorry whole. about that. One whole equals eight eighths. Now I'm going to label my line plot with the data we have from our table. So Monday was 1 eighth. I'm going to put a little x over 1 eighth. Tuesday was 1 eighth. I'm going to put another x to represent Tuesday on this line plot. Wednesday was 2 eighths. I'm going to put an x over 2 eighths so we can check off Wednesday. And Thursday was 5 eighths. So I'm going to put an X over the 5 eighths. So now I can see in a different way how much it evaporated over the course of four days. So now we're going to use this line plot to help us answer these questions. How much water evaporated over the four days? So thinking about word problems, so I need four numbers because it needs to be over four days. And because it's over that time, I'm going to be adding. So I need to add together all each the cups of, these of water fractions. So I'm going to add one eighth plus one eighth because I see here that I have two x's, which means I have one eighth plus another one eighth. Then I'm going to add two eighths and five eighths. 
representing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Now I can add that together. And I know when adding fractions that the denominator stays the same. And now I can add my numerators. 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 5 is 9. Now I'm noticing something about this fraction. Improper. Improper fraction. Very good. So we need to change it into a mixed number. So to do that, I'm going to use my denominator and count by 8s. So 8, now I can't add another 8, so I have to add one more to get to 9. And I know the denominator is 8 for each one. 8 eighths equals 1, add my 1 eighth. So over the 4 days, 1 and 1 eighth cups of water was evaporated. And you can also turn it into a mixed fraction. That's right, and we turned it into a mixed number. Two, how much water does Judy have left in her container? So, on the first day, we need to see how much she had. She had two and one eighth cup of water. So I'm going to write that down. How much water does Judy have left? So two and one eighth. And now have left. Hmm. That makes me think that I'm going to be subtracting because it's how much I have remaining. And I'm going to subtract the one and one eighth cups that we found. One and one eighth. Now, if I subtract, we got lucky here because we do not need to borrow. So I do my fractions first. 1 eighth minus 1 eighth is 0 eighths. Knew it. 2 minus 1 is 1. 1. 1 and 0 eighths cup. Now, I feel like I don't really need that fraction because they're 0 eighths. So she has 1 cup of water left. So today I want you to take away how to create a line plot from a table using our x's and then we use that line plot to help us answer a word problem. Take your time and good luck. Good luck guys. Yup, good luck.